Hi folks, I'm back again up the allotment. Uh, I'm just sitting here, um, just making a cup of coffee now. As it goes, got the kettle on the go. This is our little tea shed. Uh, not been up for a little while. Um, the missus, uh, she, we just had a little baby. Um, so I managed to get up here today. I popped back up a couple of times, but not brought the camera up with me because I just wanted to get some stuff done. Um, I'm just going to make a coffee and then I'll take you on a little tour round of uh, what I've done so far. Alright, I'll catch you in a minute. Alright, I just want to show you this, what my friend John's done. Is he's got some sort of metal cages and bent them round to have all of his troughs raised off the ground for his strawberries. It's a good idea. Uh, I think I'm going to do it to mine, but I don't know if I'll be able to get the metal cages. So I might make mine sort of out of boxes. Uh, this is sort of prevent the slugs and birds and everything getting onto them, which you know is a good idea. So, if anybody needs an idea for their strawberries, this is probably one of the best best ones I've seen. So, right, I'm just gonna have a little walk up to mine. All right, here we are. I came up uh, the other day, uh, I planted some um, iceberg lettuce and some little gems, just a couple of rows to start off with. I've got lots more to plant but not yet. Uh, I've got my garlic in the middle there, uh, all the way down and then I've got my onions set on the outside. Alright, let's just put this coffee down. So, and then this is all renovated, ready to plant. I've got some brassicas I need to plant in. Um, this is my potato bed, which are, you know, they're flying now. So that's pretty good, I'm quite happy about that. Uh, I need to get them covered over with some fleece because we're still expecting the last frost. Um, I planted a couple of onions, sort of what I had left over. I just chucked them in here and just see what they do. Um, so. That's that, onto the polytunnel. Right, this is what I've been doing today, is making my beds. Uh, I've painted them. It's really hot in here though. Uh, painted them all up. I know they're quite quite tall, but um, I'm going to be filling them up with manure, basically. Uh, I've got loads of stuff to plant in. Um, Alan's still got all of his stuff in here, uh, sort of ready to go out, but he's just cut his hands, so he's, uh, he's not going to be up for a little while. Um, all the um, damn, I forgot what it's called. Comfrey, sorry. All the comfries. This is all ready to be chopped now. I could chop all this down and put it in a bin, but I'm going to wait for a, because if you can see here, there's still some more shoots coming out, right? So I'm going to wait for them to come out. Wait for it to be full in bloom, and then uh, then I'm going to chop it put it into some bags and then put it into um, a container might be one of them grey containers there or it might be one of my bins there which I might mix up some uh, manure as well right onto my flowers it's all, they're all coming through and these de-weeding at the moment but like I said I ain't had time so I'll have to wait for a bit uh, still waiting for the last frost because I've got some more flower seeds that I'm just going to sprinkle in between all of this but yeah, they seem to be doing all right. Not too bad. Um, raw beans, as you can see, they're absolutely flying now. All the flowers are out. Um, should really peel the netting back so I can get some bees in there to pollinate. Really, um, but it should be okay. I've got one bee in there at the moment, but. I need to get this this get this off to get them pollinating. Ah, this is a new thing that we're building now. Um, a bit like a coal frame really. So when you grow all your stuff inside and you need to harden them off for like a couple of weeks, this is what this is going to be. So we're going to harden everything off in here. I managed to get hold of some uh, clear perspex the other day. That's going to be the front. So it yeah, should be should be good. Oh yeah, I was going to show you the, show you the leaf mould. Um, I showed you 
on a few videos back that I had both of these bins filled up where I took it all out of this one and put it all into this one and that's almost just rotted down so that's that there's my grapevine which is all coming into bud now which is lovely so yes I'm happy about that uh, my strawberries are coming through still a bit of a tip round here my mate Alan's had a little tidy up for me bless him um, they're all coming out now uh, no flowers on them yet this all needs de-weeding but I'll have to do that at some point again um, well I got given um, oh there's one coming up there that's a new one I got given a little while ago some raspberry bushes winter uh, autumn ones and, and spring ones um, this is my old one that I had um, and I planted them all over in here covered it all with manure um, but when I when I went to chop it all down in the winter uh, it felt like it was all rotted but that one just there that's a new one so I'm happy about that as you can see that they grow wild as well so I might dig these out and put them in there as well um, let's just have a quick look and see what else we've got in here. Nothing in there. No, I see it. We've only got them two coming out, but they grow. They grow wild all over the place, so you can always get hold of them. And my friend Alan's gonna give me some as well. So, all right, let's remove that boy. Rhubarb. It's massive. <laughs> what else can I say? I mean, let's just to show you the size of the leaflet. It's huge. Absolutely huge. So, I mean, they've got some nice, I mean, look at the stalks. Uh, that's sort of ready for picking, really. But I'll leave it for a little bit longer. A lot of people, with their rhubarb leaves, I oh, don't put them in your compost because it's poison and I, it's a load of old tosh, really. Just stick it in there. It's all going to rot down. You know, you're not going to use it within the six months if it has got a disease or anything like that. You know, the disease will be killed off when it's rotting down, when the weather gets in. These are the new ones that I got from down the way. So they're they're pretty they're pretty good. They're coming through, which I'm quite quite happy about. New one there. So yeah, all this bark is for the polytunnel. So. I've got to get all that going. Um, it's all rotting down really nicely now. Got an odd potato growing there. Come up and chuck some more stuff on. Oh, that's me uh, cherry tree. It's all in uh, all in bloom now. I've got to get that netted. So I've never had any cherries off of it. I made one or two when I first took the plot over, but. No, so I need to get that netted over. Apple tree, I give that a really good cut this year. I haven't done it for like two or three years, so I'll really give it a good cut this time. Um, pear tree, all I did with the pear tree is I took the top off. Um, apart from that, I don't want to be chopping it down because it's too good. It won me first prize in the show. So, um, so I want some good ones off of it again. This one, um, I, I just hacked it. I cut all the middle out so that it can let more light through. Um, Cause it was just ridiculous. Um, but I've never had any fruit off of it, so I'll keep keep it going and see what happens. I've started off some plum seeds in here. So right, on to this. Let's move all this out of the way because these are dead now potatoes planted these back in February I think it was March so yeah I'm just waiting for some flowers to come out now which uh, shouldn't be too far away um, once I get some flowers and I can uh, I'll, I'll show you I'll do a potato reveal and show you what I've got there's two bags in there um, this one had um, about seven or eight potatoes in this I put into this one because I wanted them to grow all the way through and not just at the bottom this one's got four potatoes in it so we shall see 
me peace, garden peas. Can't wait for these to, they're all clinging together, but they'll be alright. They're going to go up against the vines out there. Um, runner beans. So these are all coming out now. Everything looking a bit dry. Um, my first lot of giant leeks that I planted um, I just went downhill. They just all sort of died. So what I did is I add some more in these sort of boxes I got here. I've got one here and I got I did have another one about so I think I'll give it to Alan. But I've replanted a load more and these ones seem to be doing all right. Uh, tomatoes have come up at the back. They're doing really well. Um, lettuce. Um, friend Alan's been picking loads of lettuce, but I'm going to be taking all of them today and then probably scatter some more seeds on the top of them. Um, this is the other lettuce, lettuce all coming through. Um, I took one of the tomato plants out of there and I've now potted it at the back, so that's a good early starter. Started off my giant ones, but there's nothing coming up yet. In here, we have more cucumbers. Um, Martin at Retro Restore, um, you, you say I watched your video before and you was having, weren't having much luck um, with these. I started these off in these little cubes here. This is another one that's like waiting to come up, but I let them get to about two, about two to three leaves, and then I transfer them into pots like that, and then I let them grow on more like that till they outgrow this cave, this um, till they outgrow all these pots and then what I should do is get these buckets here as you can see they're quite sort of massive and uh, obviously drill holes in the bottom fill them up with manure till nearly the top and then I should just put the cucumbers growing into these box after they've outgrown those pots so that's just a little sort of tip for you that's what I do you don't have to do it my way you, you know everybody does it their own ways but as you can see I've had I mean I've two four six I planted eight and I've got eight but they, they seem to be doing really well um, just keep drying out too much but the ones at the back are, are plums um, that one over there was the sweet peppers. That I, there's nothing coming out of there. This is uh, spring onions, which are doing really, really well. I just chucked them in there, just a little sort of thing. Um, this is um, me hot chilies. I don't know which ones they are. The ticket thing's gone somewhere. But yeah, so uh, so I got to, I got to take them out, choose the strongest one, and then. Um, yeah, I should just oh, grow them for my mate. So, right onto the giant onions. They seem to be doing really well. The biggest one is that one at the back there. As you can see, it's, it's pretty, sort of, pretty big. Um, I've got some other good ones in here. Some other pretty big ones. This one at the front is, that's, you know, they're all pretty big. That's why I need to get these beds done because if you look at it, they're all just growing out of these. Brassicas, all my brassicas are ready to go out. Savoys, red cabbage, all ready to go. Uh, the McCall's yet at the back that I transplanted from out of there. Transplanted them into bigger pots to give them a better start and give me a little bit more time to do. Um, these are more, these are Russian leeks. Let's see what they do. Um, they're my mammoth leeks. They're all doing really well. These are the ones that I had to repot from last time. Um, so, my sweet peppers are finally come up. They've, I know they take a while, but that was ridiculous. They took ages and ages. But yeah, I've got plenty there. So, I should keep them watered and keep them, get a few more leaves growing on them yet before I transfer them. Um, my giant cabbages, I've got two now, which I'm quite happy about. So, they need to be transferred pretty soon. Uh, all my potatoes are still chitting, but I need to get them into the ground. Um, and that's about it at the moment, really. Um, I bought some of these uh, yesterday. That's just. What's that? Oh, yeah, I've got some of that. Um, I was watching Dan um, uh, Lotman Diaries, and he was. Um, when he does his giant onions, he uses. Um, 
wire coat hangers but I thought I'd get some of these and then uh, I've got some of this this stuff it was only a pound so soft twist and plant tie so I thought I'd give that a burn see what that's like and then I brought two of these grow bag trays which I'm not going to be using for grow bags I'm actually going to be sitting my tomato pots on these to stop the floor from rotting out so yeah I've got two for seven quid that's from B&M's so yeah uh, brought loads more um, got loads brought loads of other stuff uh, in this bag I've got some more grow bags uh, all that sort of stuff I got it was my birthday um, a couple of days ago I got a watering can and uh, I got a walking greenhouse but uh, I suppose people are gonna be saying what do you want with another greenhouse you've got I've got a polytunnel I've got a 10 by 8 greenhouse but I think just here because I've got all this space just here I might put the greenhouse there level level all this off just get a rotavator in it chop it all around and then just set it on there get it all leveled out but then when it comes to winter I can move move the greenhouse um, and put it in the polytunnel so I've got double in, double insulation in the polytunnel right that's a uh, I think that's about it for a minute I'm gonna crack on and do a little bit more than I'll, uh, I'll come back to you at the end and oh, I'll, show, I'll show these things I um, these little fans I brought from these are solar power solar powered fans um, they're all right I mean they're supposed to be clipping on your hat but I mean they do push a little bit of a breeze round but not sort of not a lot but you know they were they were two for a fiver so oh and I got a new window opener which had to be done I think that was uh 17 quid or something so yeah so that's gonna cool it down a bit in here because the temperatures have been getting ridiculous in here it's been getting up to like 52s in here uh, I've got to get a new window opener for this one so yeah everything's growing and I ain't got enough time to do everything really shed needs cleaning out there's so much crap in there and oh it's terrible right I shall crack on and I shall get back to you in a bit cheers right just to show you it's all done this is all ready now for my leaks to go in I might just top this one up a little bit but yeah it's all ready for my uh, not my leeks my giant onions uh, I should get one, two, four, six I might get eight in each one so we'll see uh, I filled it up these are um, about two foot tall uh, no 56 560 mil tall um, I filled it up to about six inches to the top with manure obviously because I can't afford to fill that all up with um, potting compost multi-purpose compost or anything like that so I've just done that and then uh, I put some sieved topsoil on them and then topped it off with about five inches of putting in multi-purpose compost so uh, that should do it really right time to go home now and I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one cheers